Hi, Brock Davidson again for Brock's Performance. Well, we've been on a marathon mapping session here with Slugger uh, all day. We've been uh, developing maps for our customers. The new ZX14R Power Commander came out and we've been putting Slugger through its paces. Uh, one of the things we wanted to do as, as this particular map session closed out, we just happen to have absolutely beautiful weather here uh, in, in, for our part of the country. And we know that here very soon the, uh, the Midwest haze is going to fall. And what I mean is, is as I drive into work, I'll be able to see a haze over top of, uh, of the trees and off onto the horizon. And when that haze comes, we're going to drop about 10 horsepower and it's going to be that way until fall and there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. So we're sort of rushing to make sure that uh, we can get some great horsepower numbers out of Slugger here. Well, um, we have and I had a goal, I, I, had a, uh, I had a feeling that I knew what we could get out of this bike and I thought that with all bolt-on components, no trickery, not getting into the engine, um, the only cover that still has ever been off of this bike is the clutch cover to install our clutch mod. I believe that we could get 230 horsepower out of this bike on the STD scale. Um, we came very close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, and make a run here um, just to let you know what we've done. All bolt-on has our Alien Head 2 exhaust, the ZX14R power commander for this bike, um, Allison Less Than Zero Weight Oil, Petron Additive, um, we did go ahead and throw on a BST carbon fiber wheel. It's got a Michelin um, Power One tire. And the only thing we're missing, <laughs> the only thing I really wish we had was one of our, um, an O-ring chain with the uh, O-rings removed. We just don't have one. And that's the, that, I believe that's the key ingredient. If we get a chance to throw one of those on, we will but it takes a really long time to get the O-rings out of these things. So we didn't have that here, um, but we managed to just pull 227 horsepower out of this bike. No kidding, no trickery. Scout's honor. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and make another couple pulls for you here, see if we can duplicate that result. Uh, that is on uh, VP MR12 race fuel, and uh, we, map, we mapped to match it. So let's see if I can go ahead and duplicate that for you, see what happens here in a minute. Okay, what we've got here, um, I pulled up the chart with the stock rear wheel, made 224 horsepower. Now that, uh, with the stock rear wheel, that was with the stock bearings and the Metzor Sport Tech stock rear tire, which is a 19050 series. Now that's with stock wheel bearings, stock seals. We did not have uh, worldwide bearing ceramics in that wheel. What we did was we switched over to uh, the BST rear wheel and made 227 horsepower. Now that did have worldwide bearing ceramics and you can see uh, we've got a noticeable gain over stock. Now I'll be real honest with you, BSTs aren't in everyone's budget and most people do not purchase BST wheels to get horsepower gains on the dyno. BST wheels are, are just not for straight up straight line acceleration and you know if you've got four thousand dollars laying around to get three horsepower on the dyno you know that's only on the rear wheel too you also have front wheel gains then uh, you know you're hitting pretty heavy so uh, we were we're really happy I mean 227 horsepower is a tremendous amount of power out of his out of a stock ZX 14 R when I say stock that's no engine mods just bolt on parts alien head exhaust power commander we bolted on we poured in 
definitely don't want you to think that you have to spend a tremendous amount of money. Our Alien Head 2 exhaust uh, retails for $10.95. Power Commanders uh, are just are not uh, tremendously expensive. You can shop around, get them on the internet or Brock's Performance. We've got them. We can put package deals together for you. And uh, besides that, nearly 230 horsepower out of a bike with a full manufacturer's warranty. In the old days, you know, last year, you'd have to take a Generation 2 Busa and build it very, very, very hot to get this kind of power. So the ZX-14, definitely an impressive motorcycle. Um, we're, we're not finished. If I had, an, if I had an O-ring chain with the O-rings removed, that 227 would, sit, would uh, we'd get 230 out of it. And uh, we, we still have the stock air cleaner installed. We found out that by removing the air cleaner, we actually lost horsepower. So that just goes to show you the engineering coming out of Japan these days are, it's just amazing. So hopefully we can get a, uh, a k and race filter in one of these things soon, get some additional horsepower out of it. And as technology in the aftermarket world comes along and it works, we're going to continue to show you the gain. So we're really just scratching the surface on this thing. And until next time, I'm Brox Davidson for Brox Performance. We'll see you then.